Poor, poor Chris Christie. At this point, he doesn't even know that he's being insulted by Donald Trump, that he's being controlled by Donald Trump. He's been so beaten down by the man that he just takes whatever Trump gives him, and that's going to be demonstrated in this video clip. I think we all want to know, when you have lunch with the president, yes. what do you eat? Well, there's a, there's a menu. Is there, like, they come over there and here's your menu for the day, or can you say, I want lasagna? You can do both. You can. Basically, what he explained to me was, here's the menu, but if there's something else you want, just you tell them and it. they'll make it. Uh, so did you order off the menu, or do you go... Could, well, here's the... Or here's what, I go crazy. Let me just say, this is, right, yeah. this is what it's like to be with Trump. Go ahead. Okay? He says, there's the menu, you guys order whatever you want. And then he says, Chris, you and I are going to have the meatloaf. He tells you what you're eating. Yeah, and I said, well, oh. we're so going to have the meatloaf? Special. And he said, I'm telling you, the did, meatloaf is fabulous. Did you have the meatloaf? I did. It's emasculating. No, it's not. Another man tells you what you're eating, you eat it? Not acceptable. I don't care by, who he is. By the but way, it's the president. It is the president, A. And the president said, you're eating the meatloaf. Wouldn't you be like, I'm an adult, I'll get what I want, thank you? I would, I would go along with his recommendation. you get the meatloaf. Yeah, I, I mean, the guy eats there all the time. You would think, and the meatloaf was good. It was good. <laughs> now, my wife meatloaf. didn't go with the meatloaf, but he didn't suggest the meatloaf to my wife. Well, because he's not going to tell your wife what to eat because right. it's disrespectful. He's known her wife. for, no, he's known you her for a long time. You tell your wife what to eat. No, I don't. And secondly, he's known her for a long time. So he, he could have told her if he wanted to, but he didn't. So he's on uh, sports radio there. Uh, not only can he be ordered around, this is, this is by the way, what it's like to be with Trump, uh, but his wife can be ordered around by Trump as well. Right. In a democracy, the people tell the president to eat the meatloaf, not the other way around. <laughs> in Russia, meatloaf eats you. <laughs> okay, which he's in favor of. He thinks that's a wonderful, wonderful idea, tremendous idea. Delicious. Okay, so uh, at first, <laughs> as I was reading this story and I hadn't heard the audio yet, I thought he just was like, hey, fat, so you're getting the meatloaf. <laughs> and I was like, no, Chris, you got to walk out of there. You cannot, like, I don't care about it, emasculating or not emasculating, just as a human being, you've got to have the dignity to walk out of that room. But it, that's not how it went down. I actually think that <laughs> the story itself is actually totally fine. In, in fact, mm -hmm. I'm going to go over the top in the other direction and say it's slightly endearing. So, okay, <laughs> all right, let me explain why. Like, if, you know who would do that with me? Uh, ben would. Ben would be like, Jack, I know you. Trust me. We're getting the meatloaf. Mm -hmm. And I'd be like, that's it. We're getting the meatloaf. Could you see he, what I'm could, saying? Could he tell Wendy what to eat? <laughs> no, that would be a very <laughs> bad idea. <laughs> it doesn't matter how many years he's known Wendy or anybody's known Wendy. You don't tell my wife what to eat. <laughs> so, uh, have we adjudicated yet? Well, can we just note that Chris Christie is at his most um, effusive and the most revealing when he's on sports talk radio. Like, there's no yes. better venue for Chris Christie to pronounce on the intimate details of his relationship with Trump than just bantering with these sports talk guys in the in the New York City area. So I just wanted to throw that. That's but, right. Yeah. And he's also his most jubilant at sports events. I remember when he rubbed up against Jerry Jones during that Cowboys game. Remember, <laughs> he hugged him and started rubbing up with that. He's no, but whenever Chris Christie gets in trouble in New Jersey, he goes on sports talk radio mm -hmm. where he knows he'll have a relatively um, favorable audience and relatively soft questions, and he's done that. Yeah. All throughout the Bridgegate scandal, like, he wouldn't talk to the Star Ledger or the New York Times or any of the local media who may, might ask him actual questions. He would go on these bantering talk radio shows and talk about how much he loves the Mets. Which is actually smart politics. Yeah. Uh, liking the Cowboys in New Jersey, not as smart politics. Uh, mm -hmm. But... Uh, and. I, he didn't do a lot of interviews with David Sirota at the time, as I recollect. No, during, I don't think so. Bridgegate. But let, let's uh, let's have a final uh, judgment on this very important story: uh, Sandwich Gate, Meatloaf Gate. Uh, I vote not guilty uh, on Chris Christie and Donald Trump here. Mm -hmm. I think they're friends, and they had a meatloaf moment. I will say guilty, not because of this particular event. If this was the only thing, perfectly fine. But we, as judges, have to look over precedent, and we know what his history with Trump is. He was sworn off of Oreos because of that man. He was thrown back onto a plane because of that man. Because of the context, I would say uh, Chris Christie needs to do what's best for Chris Christie, which is uh, stop eating meatloaf, but also uh, avoid Donald Trump in the future. <laughs> well, my ruling... Oh, go ahead, Mike. I wanted to just declare a mistrial. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I, I have old. a very okay. clear ruling. Donald Trump, not guilty. Chris Christie, guilty. Oh. My reasoning being that, yeah, I agree with you, Jack. That was my first reaction. So you have a friend, you say, hey, Jack, you're having the meatloaf. I would say that to you. Yes. But then for, the way that Christie told the story was self-incriminating because he was basically yeah. saying, you know, I got to, he's the president, I got to do what he says. So Chris Christie fails. Oh, mm -hmm. that's such a good point by Richard. Because it's not, if, if in that story where you or Ben is telling me, 
I'd be like, because I trust him, and he knows who I, what I like, and that's why I ate it. I wouldn't say, oh, because Richard's more important than yeah. I am. Oh, By the you're way, right. I switched my vote. You know who's and I did no mistrial. Chris Christie guilty. Donald Trump, Trump it. innocent. De who, the we person who's definitely right. not guilty is whoever that sportscaster is. I know that they probably have a long-standing relationship. They probably talked a hundred times. But he, he just said that's emasculating. I wish more political reporters would do the political equivalent of that. And we're starting to see it a little bit. Jake Tapper's gotten incredibly feisty over the past week or so. Uh, but few political reporters feel like they can be as blunt with politicians as apparently sports reporters feel they can be. Corporate media is awesome. Wrong. Independent media is the way to go. Believe me. Believe me. Support independent media right now. Become a Young Turks member. TYTnetwork.com slash join.